Welcome to this comprehensive lecture on pharmacology. In this script, we will delve into the fascinating world of pharmacological modulation of neurotransmitter release. We will explore various mechanisms, including presynaptic calcium signaling, receptor desensitization and downregulation, and neurotransmitter reuptake inhibition. Additionally, we will discuss the role of vesicular neurotransmitter transporters, neuromodulation by G-protein coupled receptors, and the impact of neuropeptides on neurotransmitter release. Moreover, we will delve into the field of elosteric modulation of receptors and examine pharmacological interactions at synaptic receptors. Lastly, we will explore the relevance of neurotransmitter release and modulation in neurodegenerative disorders. So let's begin this enlightening journey into the intricacies of pharmacology. Presynaptic calcium signaling plays a crucial role in the release of neurotransmitters. When an action potential reaches the presynaptic terminal, voltage-gated calcium channels open, allowing calcium ions to enter the terminal. The influx of calcium ions triggers the fusion of synaptic vesicles with the presynaptic membrane, leading to the release of neurotransmitters into the synaptic cleft. The magnitude and duration of the calcium influx determine the amount of neurotransmitter released. This process is tightly regulated and can be modulated by various pharmacological agents. Autoreceptors are receptors located on the presynaptic membrane that bind to neurotransmitters released by the same neuron. Activation of autoreceptors can modulate neurotransmitter release through feedback mechanisms. Depending on the receptor subtype, autoreceptors can either inhibit or facilitate neurotransmitter release. Pharmacological agents that selectively target autoreceptors have been developed to modulate neurotransmitter release in a controlled manner. Receptor desensitization and downregulation are fundamental processes that regulate the responsiveness of receptors to neurotransmitters. Prolonged exposure to neurotransmitters leads to the phosphorylation and internalization of receptors, reducing their availability at the synapse. This phenomenon, known as desensitization, prevents excessive neurotransmitter signaling. Pharmacological agents that modulate the desensitization and downregulation of receptors can have a significant impact on neurotransmitter release and receptor-mediated signaling. Neurotransmitter receptors exist in different subtypes, each with distinct functional properties and distributions within the nervous system. Selective pharmacological modulation of specific receptor subtypes allows for fine-tuning of neurotransmitter release and signaling. This selective approach offers promising therapeutic opportunities by targeting specific receptor subtypes involved in various neurological disorders. Neurotransmitter reuptake is a crucial process that regulates the duration and intensity of neurotransmitter signaling. Reuptake transporters located on presynaptic terminals remove neurotransmitters from the synaptic cleft, effectively terminating their action. Pharmacological agents that inhibit neurotransmitter reuptake can prolong the presence of neurotransmitters in the synaptic cleft, leading to enhanced neurotransmitter signaling. This mechanism is harnessed in the treatment of disorders such as depression through the use of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors (SSRIs). Vesicular neurotransmitter transporters are responsible for packaging neurotransmitters into synaptic vesicles, ensuring their efficient storage and release. Modulation of these transporters can influence the release of neurotransmitters and impact synaptic transmission. Pharmacological agents that target vesicular neurotransmitter transporters can alter the availability and release of neurotransmitters, offering potential therapeutic avenues in various neurological disorders. The release of neurotransmitters involves a complex machinery within presynaptic terminals. Several proteins and molecular mechanisms, including snare proteins, synaptotagmins, and calcium sensors, orchestrate the fusion of synaptic vesicles and neurotransmitter release. Understanding these intricate processes is crucial for developing pharmacological interventions that can target specific steps in neurotransmitter release machinery. G-protein coupled receptors (GPCRs) are a diverse class of receptors that play a vital role in neuromodulation. Activation of GPCRs can modulate neurotransmitter release by influencing intracellular signaling pathways in presynaptic terminals. Pharmacological agents targeting specific GPCRs can selectively modulate neurotransmitter release, providing a means to fine-tune neuronal activity and signaling. Neuropeptides are small protein-like molecules that act as neuromodulators within the nervous system. These molecules can modulate neurotransmitter release, often by acting on presynaptic terminals. Pharmacological agents that target neuropeptides can influence neurotransmitter release and contribute to the regulation of neuronal communication. Elosteric modulation refers to the modulation of receptor activity through binding to sites distinct from the receptor's primary ligand binding site. Elosteric modulators can potentiate or inhibit receptor signaling, allowing fine control over synaptic transmission. Understanding the molecular mechanisms underlying elosteric modulation has paved the way for the development of novel pharmacological agents with increased specificity and reduced side effects. 
Pharmacological interactions at synaptic receptors involve the modulation of receptor activity through interactions with multiple ligands or drugs. These interactions can be synergistic, additive, or antagonistic, depending on the individual pharmacological properties of the substances involved. Understanding these interactions provides insights into the optimization of pharmacological therapies and the avoidance of unwanted side effects. Neurotransmitter release and modulation play a pivotal role in the pathogenesis and treatment of neurodegenerative disorders such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's diseases. Dysregulation of neurotransmitter release can contribute to the motor and cognitive symptoms associated with these conditions. Pharmacological interventions targeting neurotransmitter release mechanisms offer hope for improving symptoms and slowing disease progression in these debilitating disorders. In conclusion, pharmacological modulation of neurotransmitter release is a complex and multifaceted field of study. Through examining various mechanisms like presynaptic calcium signaling, receptor desensitization, and downregulation, as well as neurotransmitter reuptake inhibition, vesicular neurotransmitter transporters, and neuromodulation by GPCRs and neuropeptides, we gain insights into the intricacies of synaptic transmission. Additionally, understanding the role of receptor subtypes, allosteric modulation, pharmacological interactions, and their relevance in neurodegenerative disorders provides a foundation for the development of targeted therapies. By harnessing the power of pharmacology, we can unlock new possibilities for treating neurological disorders and improving the quality of life for countless individuals.